okay in this one we are going to talk about infinite series first consider the sequence of natural numbers 1 2 3 4 and it's continuous no 5 6 7 like that it continues the in keep increasing by 1 okay here we are only considering the first four um, terms of the sequence okay so we can construct a series from this okay first Okay, we go to this Sn terms, we will see how to construct, okay, first of Sn is the term 1, okay, then next one we add term 2 and 1, okay, so first term is 1, then we add 1 and 2 together, okay, so this is the middle second term of the series, okay, and then third term is 1 plus 2 plus 3 okay this sum is the third term and fourth term is adding first four terms okay so here this series terms of the series are shown in the middle the sums and those sums also construct a series sn not sequence sn okay so that is called the uh, sequence of partial sums okay by so s4 so by observing Sn sequence of partial sum we can say that this infinite series diverges now because sequence of partial sum going to infinity this series is the sum of infinite number of terms and the, the convergence of the series we can decide by looking at the sequence of partial sums okay a limit okay so we discuss about limit of sequences so to find the sum of this series we can use the limit of partial sums okay you already know so in general we will have to compute the limit to conclude about the series okay and get the partial sum of total sum of the infinite series So, informally speaking, infinite series is the sum of term of an infinite sequence, no? You have infinite sequence, you add terms, then you get the series. Okay, so, so a series is an infinite sum. We show that by sigma i goes to 1 to infinity, no? You uh, put, plugging in 1, you get a 1, you plugging in 2, you get 2, sigma stand for the sum. Okay, sum of this infinite terms is the series. Nth partial sum of the series is given by 1 to n sums, no? Like we saw in the table, if you add terms 1 to n, it gives the series, we say the series converge to sum s if the sequence of partial sum converge to s. Okay, in this case we write, can write s equal this infinite sum or the limit of the sequence of partial sums okay if the sequence does not convert we say series divert okay so series is a sum of an infinite number infinite sequence okay so we denote it by this sigma i goes to infinity ai or the listing of the term a1 plus a2 plus a3 and the dot three dots means the pattern continues no then the sequence of partial sums is the sum of one to n terms okay one to n terms and then if the sequence of partial sum converge to s we say series of sum series converge to s okay we denote it by i goes one to infinity the series no if the partial sum sequence do not convert then series also diverge okay the original sequence we have original sequence no from that we construct the series by taking the sum okay then the sequence of partial sum is there okay the all these three are related but different objects okay 
to our some important series. One is this geometric series. We have to look at the geometric sequence. Okay, geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers where each term after the third term is found by multiplying the previous term by a fixed non-zero number called the common ratio. Okay, so for example, so for example, we can look at this one okay sequence with 2 6 18 and 54 so this one if you multiply the first term by 3 you get the second term no second term by 3 you get the third term third term by 3 you get the fourth term and this three, three dots sets the same category same pattern continues infinitely no so it's keep like next one you will get multiplying 3 54 by 3 and like that this pattern continues no okay so here common ratio is 3 no because you multiply the previous term by 3 to get the next term okay okay another one is this one 10 5 2.5 here you are multiplying by each term by half to get the next term no okay so to identify a geometric series what usually we do we if you divide the any term by the previous term if you get the same ratio for all the terms then we call it a geometric sequence whatever the term if you divide it by the previous one if you get the same value here it say r then we say it's a geometric sequence with common ratio r okay so we can represent any geometric sequence by using a and r okay? so the first term will be a next term a multiplied by r a r then the third term multiplying the second term by r r squared then the first term multiplying the third term by r r a r cube and the pattern continues you know here to get one term any term you have to multiply first term by r n minus of that you no know? so for i want to get the n term it will look like a r n minus one you no know? because here n is less than one compared to the term number no so second term the third term you have a r squared fourth term you is a r cube so then term will be a r n minus one no so this pattern continues you get a geometric sequence then the adding the terms of a geometric sequence will give us a geometric series geometric series here in the previous one with geometric sequence if i use a2 and common ratio 3 i get the first one no if i use a 10 and common ratio 2 i get the second one okay so this rep representation of geometric sequence you can get any geometric sequence by identifying a and r then adding the terms of geometric uh, se sequence gives us the geometric series no so therefore it, this is the representation for the geometric series now let's talk about divergence and convergence of this geometric series okay so to talk about divergence we or convergence we have to look at the sequence of partial sums no so we'll take the first sum of the n terms per partial sum given by this equation one then we multiply equation by 1 by r okay so from that i get equation 2 now i will subtract equation 2 from 1 okay so that means this term will stay along but this ar will cancel out ar2 squared cancel out then ar n minus 1 cancel out with the term before this then this a a r n and this a is going to be left no so if you subtract one uh, two from one i get this result okay here i am subtracting these two now here sn is common here and a is common here i pull those out okay then i divide by one minus r so now i have expression for partial sum of this n first term terms okay this given by three now to uh, talk about the convergence or divergence i have to look at the limit of this sequence you know sequence of partial sum the, this side i take the limit of this i get the series no okay series and sum of 
series is given by the limit of this partial sum S N. Limit of the partial sums gives you the limit of uh, the sum of the infinite sum of the series. Okay. So you send n to infinity. Okay. And then I replace this by number three. Then take the limit on the numerator and the denominator. Then using the quotient rule, then use the product rule, and I can take the limit inside again using the difference rule. Okay. So uh, these are constant, so the limit will not affect any of these. Denominator is also constant, limit will not affect them. So you get r minus r this one okay then the convergence of this series depend on the uh, limit of the partial sums okay so that will depend on this limit of r n okay so this infinite sum of the series is given by this limit and we know r n goes to zero if mo modulus of r less than one otherwise is divergence okay so in the sequence okay in the sequence we have this no a is here a minus a divided by min minus r because r is going to zero okay when r is less than mod modulus of r less than one this goes to zero so you get only a in the numerator and one minus r so this is the sum of the infinite series okay and this diverge otherwise no because when other values diverge so the here we constructed the uh, equation for the sum of the whole geometric series so series will diverge if r is bigger than one modulus value it converges to this value uh, of r less than one if when r is less than one modulus of r is less than one okay so we can say that the geometric series this one converge to this when r is less than one okay otherwise it's diverge okay so now let us look at some concrete examples okay of geometric series okay Okay, so let's look at this example where we are looking at the geometric geometric series given by this okay so if you look at the first term we have to identify a and r no first term and r so first term is thousand so a is thousand and r is half no because when you multiply divide these two to any of consecutive terms you will get half no if you divide the any term by the previous term you get half so r is half a is thousand okay so we just have to a is thousand and r is half we just need to plug into this equation a thousand or this when i simplify i get two thousand okay so the sum of this infinite sum is two thousand okay then in the next sequence a is point zero zero five zeros no one and then but ratio is what two no whenever you divide the term by the previous term you get two okay so for the b because of the rate ratio is two x diverge no it don't converge okay then for the third one again is a geometric series with r half and a one no so if i plugging in these terms for the formula i get it converged to two okay so this c converged to two b is divergent and a is convergent okay let's look at another example okay here they are, they are given this series and asked to find the values for x convergence and sum of the series for that values okay those like x values okay so you can give a formula in terms of x okay in the when is converge sum for the sum okay so first first we can observe that this sum we can write it in this form and then we can realize that it's a 
here we are expanding sigma no Ad adding one and keep increasing n okay so here you see that can see that this is a geometric uh, series with a common ratio x over 3 no when you divide two terms any term by the previous term you get x over 3 okay now we not see, uh, see uh, this is a geometric series it will converge when r is less than 1 no then i can drop the modulus value of r or the absolute value of r is less than 1 so when then we can take 3 to the other side no it's a positive number we can pull it out and take it to the other side okay because positive one you can easily pull out of the absolute value okay now i can use the definition no the x is less than 3 means x is between negative 3 and positive 3 so this series convergence when x is between negative 3 and positive 3 okay so part b asks for the sum so sum works when our modulus of r is less than 1 this is the formula for a geometric sum of the geometric series no now r is less than 1 modulus of r is less than 1 means x is between negative and 3 and positive 3 like we obtained here okay then to get the sum we have to plug in the first term and the r no so the first term is what x over 3 first term is x over 3 and then r is also x over 3 no here see so i plugging in here a is x over 3 r is x over 3 then simplifying this guy by taking the common denominator here this becomes 3 and bringing it to top you can cancel it out with this 3 okay so final answer is this one for the sum so we answers the problem we found the value so the series convergent and for those value we found the sum expression for summing x